Chief Meteorologist Joel Barnes here. No tornado warnings yet, but I think that's going to change here probably in about the next 30 minutes or so. We are live now on our Facebook. We're not going to be continuously live. We'll be giving updates here about every 15 minutes or so as we're getting ready for um, one, the newscast. If we do have one, too, um, we've got uh, obviously going to probably be live on TV covering tornado warnings here soon. The sun came out. It is humid 87 degrees as well. Um, we're under that level five, a high risk, 30% chance that your county will have a tornado on the ground if you are in that pink area, according to the Storm Prediction Center. Tennis ball size hail, winds could gust as high as 80, hurricane force, and that flood threat is significant. A PDS tornado watch, it stands for particular dangerous situation. Very rare to get one of those issued. We're already seeing severe thunderstorms developing down to the south. It includes all of West Tennessee until midnight. Plus, we've got this extreme flood threat. That's a high risk for flooding this evening and tonight as well, and flood watches are out. All right, so we've got a big severe thunderstorm warning just to the southwest of Jackson. A couple different cells have developed, so we're looking at multiple little supercell thunderstorms right now. They are producing probably some hail and some torrential rainfall. But when we get a closer look at these, um, they're kind of smaller when we're looking at them from the Memphis radar, but they're uh, trying to still try to spin up. But we'll get a look at those a little closer. It looks like there is some hail already in these. That's going to be moving up to the northeast. Um, here's kind of a look at the timing track if it continues the same direction. Looks like it'll be close to around 4 o'clock in Jackson, um, closer to uh, maybe 10 minutes later or so in Humble. But again, there's two different cells, so um, we'll see where they each go if they conglomerate together or if they continue to stay split. Looking at the velocity, there's a little bit of rotation for the first time starting to show up northwest of Somerville. So these are the storms that we're watching for uh, possible tornadoes here over the next couple of hours as they move up to the northeast. So here's uh, multiple severe thunderstorm warnings down to the southeast. They're going to continue to track up um, moving into uh, West Tennessee for the next few hours. Again, our watch is out um, until midnight. So here's a look at a future cast showing the storms continuing to move on through, continuing to rotate maybe six, seven o'clock. Um, then the line starts to come on in between eight, nine o'clock. But we could be dealing with these rotating storms at least until nine o'clock and then maybe some spin ups along the line. And it kind of depends on how fast that line moves on in. As I said, the National Weather Service and Storm Prediction Center put that tornado watch out until midnight. You notice still midnight, 1 a.m. Still could be some dangerous storms down into Hardin County. And then we'll start to look at that flood threat, which is just going to continue to be a problem all night long into the day. Thursday continues into Friday. We've got multiple days of severe weather concerns, not just today, not just Thursday, but Friday could be some big storms coming in Friday night, maybe even some supercells there as well. So here's a look at our headlines that we're working on uh, for tonight. Go back to the radar here one more time since we're still live on our Facebook and YouTube. And remember, you can keep uh, when we're live on tornado warning coverage. We'll be live every second on uh, both of our YouTube and uh, Facebook platforms. But as long as we're still just tracking severe thunderstorm warnings, we'll probably just be given occasional updates. So it looks like we've got a brand new edit to that uh, severe thunderstorm warning, which is this one right here. See if we can get it to pull up. All right, so that's out till 415. Golf ball size hail, 60 mile an hour winds, according to the National Weather Service. Um, as of now, this storm um, does not have a, a tag for um, a tornado or even uh, significant rotation where they think it's going to produce a tornado in the next few minutes. But um, there's a look at the uh, rotation. So good news is it's still pretty elevated. Um, not seeing any signs of a, a tornado heading our way as of now. But again, uh, these storms are going to become stronger over the next couple of hours as they continue to move through. Again, it's hot, it's humid. Uh, the atmosphere is pretty much set up for some uh, potential uh, tornadoes here tonight. Um, you, you'll be seeing a lot of me here tonight. Meteorologist Jordan Hubbard is going to be joining me. Uh, we've got Mo and Brian coming in a little bit later. Um, if, if Mo's feeling a little bit better, I know a lot of you have seen on Facebook that uh, Mo's kind of under the weather. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll have uh, Mo in here um, tonight so that uh, a little bit later, hopefully he's feeling better. If not, um, I'll uh, be probably sleeping here in the Storm Team Weather Center maybe for the next couple of days when we can get some sleep. May not be a lot of sleep uh, to be gotten, unfortunately. So uh, I'm going to share this Facebook live feed to the Storm Team Weather page as well. Um, so just be patient with me here for a minute. It's kind of difficult to talk and type at this at the same time. So on our storm team weather page, I'm just going to say follow or severe weather coverage tonight as the storms develop across 
Northwest Tennessee. All right, so if you're again watching us on our Facebook Live, um, so far nothing, uh, no tornadoes yet. Um, no rotation seen in those supercells that are down to the south, um, but they are producing some pretty large hail. Um, we've got a lot of them though going up. Look at all these storms developing down into Mississippi. So these are going to continue to track up uh, to the northeast and um, they're moving pretty quickly. Uh, the, this last one said about 60 miles an hour. So let me get the uh, update on that, see if it's still 60. This one over here west of Covington is moving 60 miles an hour, so that's pretty fast. This one down here is also moving 55 miles an hour with golf ball size hail, 60 mile an hour winds. So, you know, generally these storms um, get stronger as they move into the northeast. And um, again, the conditions are, are, are ripe for uh, some supercell and tornado development. So the further east of the river you are, I think the, the better the conditions are. Um, you know, if you're west of it, it's not real good. Uh, we'll show you a couple of the other graphics that we got for what we can expect tonight. <coughs> so here's our uh, severe weather risk. Again, that level five does kind of include, we're right on the edge in Jackson and that five and then areas to the northwest. It doesn't mean you won't get tornadoes even in Savannah. It's just chances are greatest probably in Dyersburg if you get supercells going into that direction. Um, but uh, the supercells right now have been pretty much south of Memphis. There's our tornado threat. That's at 30% I was telling you about. A 30% uh, tornado risk is basically, what it means is if you stick a point anywhere in that pink area and draw a 25 mile radius around you, there's a 30% chance that you're gonna have a tornado. I like to look at it roughly. There's a, if you have a larger county like Madison, Gibson, or Haywood, there's a 30% chance your county will have a tornado touching down in it. Probably less if you get smaller counties you know, like uh, Crockett or Chester. So, um, but uh, storms gonna be moving through over the next couple of hours. Here's another, a different forecast model. Um, look at uh, what's gonna happen. It's got some pretty explosive storms coming in here. You notice that's in an hour, 4.30, 5, 6, 8, still keeping rotating storms around till around 9 o'clock and it's got that line pushing through with those very strong winds which could also produce spin-up tornadoes around midnight in Jackson right along the interstate as it tracks down to the southeast. So again, we're going to be pretty active here. So hopefully uh, you're, in, you're in the house, you're not running around anymore. Looks like a lot of the schools maybe did good getting the kids out early as the storms popped about an hour earlier than we were thinking. Um, we didn't think there'd be any tornadoes till at least four, but I thought the severe thunderstorm may hold off till closer to four o'clock as well, but it looks like we've got some of those developing over the last 30 minutes. So we'll go back to the uh, radar on those storms and I'm going to check back in with the National Weather Service, see if there's anything they're posting that, uh, that we're missing here. So National Weather Service, just um, talking about the hail with the storms no rotation or any tornado concerns yet um, with these storms. So we've got multiple uh, little storm clusters, little cells. Um, if we get a lot of them close together, like you see those two, this is good because they're fighting for storm energy. If we get a whole bunch of these close together, it's gonna be much better for us than if we get just one out by itself. So, you know, if you get multiple supercells, sometimes they can eat up each other's energy. So this one may be a little bit more concerning near Millington because you notice it's kind of out by itself and I don't really see another one next to it. But we've got a cluster of them, five of them showing up here and a whole bunch down to the south. So this is all coming on through tonight. Um, we want a lot of them. Again, uh, a, a lot of them really close together. What we don't want is uh, one or two out by themselves because that's when they have uh, all the storm energy to themselves and they can really um, produce a large tornado there. So at 60 miles an hour, kind of go back to these two storms. They're continuing tracking that direction. So we're looking at sometime a little after four o'clock um, coming into Jackson, maybe closer to 415. Depends on uh, if these storms slow down or not. So. Um, anyway, uh, the president's on TV right now. If we get a tornado warning, we'll be breaking into TV. Um, I'll have another Facebook update here. We're going to leave the Facebook feed up 
Um, but uh, we're going to cut my mic for a minute so I can try to get some stuff ready just in case we do have to go on to the newscast. I have to have a show ready to produce. So um, we're going to head back, uh, or I'm going to turn off my mic here on the Facebook Live, work on some graphics. We'll be back here in a few minutes uh, with another update.